All right, gang, so in this episode and this part of our video series and course, we're going to talk about internet service types. Let's get straight into it. So um, as we talked about in previous lectures, we got a couple of different ways to get on the internet, right? So we got telephone, which is dial up. It's kind of old. If you still got dial up, hey, you know, no judgment here, but you know, it's going to be rough getting on YouTube. It's going to be rough doing anything that uh, is enjoyable on the Internet, right? So most people now have Ethernet. So Ethernet is um, pretty much the standard for most people. You're probably connected with an Ethernet cable to whatever device or your router is connected to a Ethernet cable, so on and so forth, right? So one thing that we haven't covered yet is fiber optic so fiber optic is super fast internet right super fast internet uh, you can get up to uh, gigabits per second um, on a fiber optic network now a lot of newer neighborhoods um, and things like that have fiber optic going to homes but most of us uh, live in places where um, we don't have fiber optic um, capabilities right so going from slowest to fastest dial up of course slowest ethernet pretty good and fiber optic is going to be super duper fast right so we already talked about bluetooth and nfc so let's talk about wi-fi so with wi-fi you got access points it's just a wireless network so if you want to walk around your house if you want to have your laptop on your back porch you can rock out on your front porch you can have internet access wherever you are or if you're in a coffee shop or if you're at mcdonald's you can have that access through um wi-fi just in case you miss um the lectures before you need to watch this whole damn video series uh but in case you missed it or in case we need to brush back up on it uh, bluetooth simply put is just a wireless uh, ability to send data or just to connect devices without a wire right so you can use Bluetooth uh, NFC is usually used for payment so you can use NFC to pay for something um, with proximity so if you have NFC enabled on a device or on your phone and you have your credit card tied to it or your PayPal or something like that you can use that at a McDonald's you can use that at a Starbucks and you can use that device to actually pay for whatever you're trying to pay for now with Wi-Fi you're good right most times you're good um, it's not dependent on you being directly next to the access point or being directly next to the router or being close to wherever the actual signal is coming from now of course the closer you are to the signal the stronger your internet and the faster your internet is probably going to be but something else that people have is called satellite internet right now this is uh this is kind of like a, a if you have no other option right no other option you know that uh nobody else is messing with you you can't you can't get verizon you can't get uh comcast you can't get xfinity you can't get nothing you got to get this satellite shit, right um that is very dependent on something called line of sight meaning that you have to have have to be properly aligned and not have any obstructions in between you and the satellite and that means any damn thing so if it's some trees in a way you're either gonna have a bad connection or no connection uh, if it's a cloudy day bad connection no connection so on and so forth um so without line of sight you have a pretty rough day and even if you do have good line of sight it's not going to be that fast because it takes a long time for the signal to bounce from you to a satellite that's i don't know millions of miles away or however far how far it is in the um in the uh, atmosphere so satellite is kind of like a you know i gotta have it you know and it, honestly for that it would just be hey i'm gonna send these emails hey i'm gonna do something but you're not about to be browsing you're not about to be doing nothing extra you're not about to be watching netflix or youtube or none of that 